Off-Road Adventure Show. I'm Jo. Well, I've covered the three basic things that I won't leave home without, which is foil, a sharp knife, and matches. Now we're going to go in and get into some uh, more stuff. As you'll notice, I've got a pretty banged up looking crate here. Now this crate has served me very well. I've had this for about 15 years and up until I recently had this little kitchen cupboard put in the side of my Land Rover, this is what all of my uh, cooking equipment was carted around in. If there's one take home message for you, I would like you to have, and that is when you are buying yourself a crate to put your equipment in, make sure you get the best quality crate you possibly can so then it's not one of those uh, super cheap plastic ones from out of the department stores because they honestly will not even last a trip, let alone 15 years worth of use. So inside this crate, as I said before, I have got everything that I ever needed to uh, do demonstrations for a start, but also I've got everything in here to be able to cook a meal for two people with all of the equipment, plates and cutlery and all that sort of thing. So let's go through what we've got. Now, bearing in mind that a lot of this stuff, and I always recommend to people that they do this before they even set foot inside a camping store, I know they can be very, very seductive and very tempting, but before you even go to a camping store, have a look in all of your cupboards at home. And I can almost guarantee that without much effort at all, you will nearly be able to make up an entire camping box out of what you don't use that has been pushed into the back of your cupboards at home. Another great place to be able to pick up stuff for your camping box is um, secondhand stores. Good Sammy's, all of those places, they're fantastic. They have very cheap um, cutlery especially and uh, crockery sometimes and they can e you can even pick up your um, enamel wear and um, melamine wear from there as well. So I'm just going to show you what I've got inside of this crate um, and show you exactly how easy it is to be able to take everything that you're absolutely going to need to be able to cook decent food for two people. So first off, I've got one of these fold-up buckets. So that uh, fantastic little things they are, so you can go and collect water or bring water back to be able to um, do your washing up or even to wash yourself. Now also going to need some tea towels, scouring pad, dishcloth, all that sort of thing. We've got a couple of cups. We've also got another box. Now this is what I like to do, is actually have everything put into separate boxes inside this one. So this one here's got all of my knives and forks and spoons and all of my uh, bits and pieces of cutlery. I've also got washing up detergent. And I have got a tray, uh, a cutting board to cut all my food so then I don't just um, to cut all my food so I don't uh, ruin the top of the table. I've also got various other um, pieces of cooking equipment. Now this stuff here I use when I'm cooking in my camp oven. My camp oven's big enough that I can put all these different types of things into. Um, now the camp oven of course doesn't fit in here as well. That is a separate piece of equipment that I do take. But everything that I have in here is enough to be able to um, create a decent meal. So I've also got a small saucepan, seeing as there's only two of us. And then conveniently inside that saucepan I've got a couple of um, bowls. So they fit in there and of course instead of taking away a separate billy to, um, to boil your water in, I just boil my water for a cup of tea in, uh, in the saucepan. I've also got a nice big uh, stainless steel bowl. So if, uh, if the mood strikes me that I would like to make some scones or a damper or maybe a cake or something like that and cook it up in the camp oven, I've got a nice big bowl to be able to do so. I've also got this uh, high sided cast iron fry pan. Now this has been with me for a very, very long time 
and uh, it can be used straight on top of the coals near your fire or it can be used on a gas um, hot plate as well. I've also got a number of um, plates. So these, these trays here are what I use in my camp oven too and of course uh, plates to be able to eat off. Now I've also got in here another box. Yeah, it's a bit like the TARDIS in this crate. So inside of this one, I normally keep my foil, my matches and my knife. But I've also got a sturdy pair of tongs. Now they're not only very good for actually using to cook your food, but if you're using um, a camp oven and you want to rearrange the coals on top of your camp oven, a good pair of tongs is actually quite good to be able to uh, arrange the, uh, the different coals on it. I've also got a flat metal grater, um, a whisk and a, a, and a slicer. I've also got my salt and pepper in here and I've got a couple of other knives as well. So I've got a small paring knife and a bread knife. So as you can see, everything fits quite nicely into there. And all of this stuff has come out of this one crate. And once you've actually emptied the crate out, because it's a good sturdy crate, you can use it to uh, do your washing up in. And because it's nice and big, it's also um, big enough that you can stand in it with some warm water and give yourself a, a bit of a, a wash over or uh, small children quite easily bathed in this in this big tub. Now I also put my oil in with all of this stuff because if it does happen to um, tip over or the, or the bottle breaks, uh, it's much easier to clean this up than it is to clean up um, other things in the car. Now another little um, thing that I have come across during the years are these things. Baby wipes. They are fantastic. Either baby wipes or your disinfecting um, bench wipes. They are both very, very good. The baby wipes, of course, you can use on yourself. They're not quite so um, uh, chemically, they're not quite so harsh as what the, um, the disinfecting wipes are. And uh, they're great just to keep your hands clean and uh, of faces and everything. And it's amazing just how much uh, of a bath you can give yourself with a half a dozen baby wipes as well to keep you nice and clean as well. So uh, I know it might seem like a bit of a waste, but realistically, if you are traveling with um, a limited amount of water, the last thing you want to be doing is using your precious drinking water to be either bathing in or to be washing your dishes in. So uh, your disinfecting wipes are great for cleaning down surfaces and they can also be used for cleaning down your chopping boards and giving your, your, cro your cutlery and your plates and bowls and that a bit of a once over as well if you really don't have very much water. So that's it for the basics. Now my challenge to you is to go and rummage about in your cupboards in your kitchen and start getting all of your uh, equipment that you don't use anymore, put it into a sturdy crate and start getting it ready to make up your own camping equipment box. Once you've done that, hit the second hand stores if you need other things. And if you still need specific stuff, then go see the camping stores. So good luck and have fun putting together your very own camping equipment box. <laughs>